So today we are going to be proclaiming May 12th as Animal Protection Day in British Columbia. We've partnered with the SPCA on this. Uh, in the last uh, balanced budget, we provided them with $5 million to work on a capital plan throughout the province, and we will continue to partner with them on these kinds of initiatives. We made a lot of strides over recent years. We have the toughest penalties in the country if anyone puts an animal in distress, and, and today is part of that commitment to safeguard our animals. We want to make sure that the awareness in the public is clear that you shouldn't leave your dog in a hot car. We're going to help people who are passers-by learn how to spot animals that might be in a car that are in distress because it's too hot. We've been protecting the most vulnerable animals in this province for 121 years. Last year, our constables, they conducted more than 10,000 new animal cruelty investigations. <laughs> Volunteering for the SPCA for the past five years has been an incredibly fulfilling experience. I personally witnessed a tragedy turn to triumph when abused animals have been rehabilitated by staff and volunteers. We're really pleased that the government has moving forward with plans to regulate and license uh, dog and cat breeders in the province of British Columbia. We think this is something that really needs to happen. Unfortunately, there are puppy mills around the province and uh, we're very pleased that the government is committed to cracking down on, on puppy mills. I just think there should be uh, more public awareness, which is what we're doing right now, and uh, maybe a little bit tighter regulations coming on, and you know, I think we'll get there. Tara and Catherine, it's my pleasure to present you a proclamation from the province of British Columbia on behalf of all British Columbians to say thank you for all your volunteer service. These two British Columbians each volunteer their time about three days a week and have made a difference in the lives of many animals, many people in our community. Thank you to the SPCA in particular for the work that you do every day in making sure that animals in British Columbia who are truly voiceless have a voice. Thank you.